Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. So today we are running our Chicago Steel uh, press brake. It is built by Dryson Crump, Chicago, Illinois. Um, it is a model 335, six foot, 35 ton, um, fully mechanical press brake. This is a great little machine. Um, I bought this quite a few years ago now um, on an auction and it had been OSHA-fied. Um, they had all this safety garbage on there and you had these two push buttons that you were, you know, placed so your hands weren't anywhere near stuff and I mean, it was, it was unusable. Um, they had an air cylinder on the clutch, just totally unusable. Um, you know, when you're doing this kind of stuff, you're, you know, you set the part up in and you, you need to support it. Well, that's impossible when you got all this OSHA garbage on there. So I took all that off and put it back mechanical, we put a foot pedal control on it, um, and it's been a great machine. So we're going to run, um, run this for a little while, we'll do a video with it, show you all of its workings, it's, it's just a really neat machine. Um, and then I'll talk a little bit about how I started out in, in machining and, and metalworking industry. So I started out in this business in 1998. Um, I was in high school yet, uh, working for a company that made firearm parts. Um, it was a punch press shop, and that's that's all we did was firearm parts. Um, whether or not I can say that on YouTube is uh, questionable, but um, oh well. And uh, so I spent a lot of time learning tool and die, learning. Um, running how to run punch presses, how to set up punch presses, um, and then we got into the press brake later on. Um, we did a lot of neat stuff with punch presses, but um, the first press brake I ever ran was actually a Diacro 1848-2. So it was a 18 ton, 48 inch, two stroke hydraulic. Um, great little press brake, um, a lot of fun to run. And we did a lot of neat things with that little press brake. We built a lot of really cool tooling, um, just some interesting stuff. Um, we did everything in-house, and uh, so it was quite the learning experience. I did that for quite a few years, and I uh, learned a lot in that, in that shop. And uh, just kind of grew my love for punch presses and, and press brakes and, and just machining in general. Um, in fact, we had a... 40 ton Walsh punch press and uh, I bought a number two Walsh here at an estate sale not that long ago that's kind of my one of my restoration projects coming up now to me punch presses and press brakes are so much fun um, just with every hit of the pedal, they do something. They do something completely and uh, totally. If you want to bend something, push the pedal. Bent. Just an awesome machine. Um, same with the punch press. You want to, you feed your material in, you push that pedal out, comes a finished part. And these machines are really limitless to, in, as to what they can do. Um, you build the custom tooling for them, you can do anything. I've got a lot of different tooling I've built for this to do different forming operations. Just a great machine to have around. Now, a lot of you may wonder why a manual machine shop needs a press brake. And, you know, that, that again comes back to this is where I started. This is the stuff I learned on, and this is the stuff I really enjoy. I've um, been doing this stuff for over 20 years, and this is where I started, is on these kind of machines. They're just so much fun to run. Um, and then building the tooling for them is a lot of fun, too. Just, you're limited only by your imagination and your abilities to machine when it comes to building the tooling. 
you know, the biggest thing with these machines is, is obviously nowadays is safety. And uh, quite honestly, if you don't have any common sense, you shouldn't be running one of these things. Don't put your finger where you wouldn't put your, uh, well, you know the saying. So with that, now that you see this machine, it's pretty cool. Um, they're a lot of fun. And uh, hopefully, hopefully this winter maybe we can get that old Walsh number two punch, punch press I got restored and uh, maybe build some tooling for that. Because, like I said, there's nothing more fun than running a punch press or a press break or, you know, I, I just enjoy it. Uh, I mean, I, I love running the lathe and the mills and all that stuff, the slaughter, the shaper, but something so satisfying about just hitting the pedal and out comes a part. You can just hear the dollar signs, the, the cash register every time you hit that pedal. Just ka-ching, ka-ching. So satisfying. So with that, we're gonna end the video here. Um, I hope you enjoyed the little show. Um, one of these days we'll, we'll finish up that big uh, press brake die I was making for this thing on the metal planer mill. And uh, you can uh, check out the videos for that in the playlist, um, machine shop and the uh, um, planer mill playlist. Um, and see how that started out and how we're going with that. And until next time, please check out my website, www.toppermachine.com. And please like, subscribe, and share. Stay with us, see what's next. And until next time, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time. <laughs>